Thank you, Harris. See you then. Former Energy Secretary Rick Perry says the U.S. has gone from energy independent to beholden to OPEC in less than two years' time. Foxnews.com op-ed, he writes this. America's energy chaos is Biden's fault as we pay at the pump. Will Democrats pay in midterms? That's a question for Rick Perry, who joins us now. How you doing, sir? Good morning to you. I just Thank you. you're down there in Texas. Reflect on that. How do you think it plays? Well, this is clear to the American people now. It, it did not have to happen. Uh, this wasn't the fault of gasoline um, distributors that are out there gouging the people. It's not because of greedy oil companies. And it's frankly not even because of uh, uh, Russia's invasion. I will suggest to you, had the Biden administration not shut down the XL pipeline, closed down offshore drilling, made it uh, impossible practically to uh, get leases on federal land, that we still would be producing close to 13, maybe even more million barrels a day in the United States. And a lot of things would be very different today. I think Russia would not have invaded uh, Ukraine had Biden left the policies into place uh, clearly. What we're seeing today, uh, the cost of, uh, of living, uh, the recession that we're facing, is because of poor energy policies that the Biden administration put in place, because they would rather placate those on the left who are hiding behind this existential threat that the uh, climate is going to, or the world is going to end in 12 years. And that is a myth, Bill. It is a myth. And the question then becomes, I mean, if you believe that, then the question is, well, why do you try and placate that aspect, the progressive wing of the Democratic Party? I think the answer is, Mr. Secretary, that that's where the money is. That's where the donations are that drive the campaigns. Yeah, I, you know, I, I guess if you're that cold uh, hearted, that, that is what drives you. But at some point in time, you've got to think about the American people. Uh, those folks who voted for Biden because he said, look, I'm going to bring this country together. They believed him. And then he's driven us apart. Plus, he's driven the economics into the ground. Uh, I think we're facing a major recession. So at some point in time, and I think November 8th is when that's going to be, the message is going to be sent by those who trusted Biden that we don't trust you anymore. As a matter of fact, we're going to kick you and your friends as far away from uh, the uh, the curb as we can, so to speak. Wow. Uh, Mr. Secretary, thank you for your time. And um, we'll, we'll see what we get in 28 days, right? I mean, for a, a lot of the polling and the survey suggests the economy and things like gas prices contribute to that is issue number one. Rick Perry, nice to see you again. Thank you. Indeed. All right.